Well, President Donald Trump came to Indiana to unveil major tax changes. It includes tax cuts. CBS 2 political reporter Derek Blakely joins us live now from Indianapolis. Derek. Eric and Rob, by President Trump's standards, this was a fairly low-key, straightforward speech. The president spoke for about 40 minutes or so, tying his tax cut plan to his America First agenda. It's wonderful to be back in the great state of Indiana. In releasing his long-awaited tax cut plan, President Trump said Indiana provides an economic template for the nation. It's time for Washington to learn from the wisdom of Indiana. We need Washington to promote American jobs instead of obstructing them. The president's plan calls for reducing corporate taxes from 35 percent to 20 percent, which he predicts will produce an explosion of growth. And the plan calls for cutting seven personal tax brackets to just three, 35, 25 and 12 percent, while almost doubling the current standard deduction. Under this framework, the first $12,000 of income earned by a single individual will be tax free. And a married couple won't pay a dime in taxes on their first $24,000 of income. Mr. Trump called for a bipartisan effort to pass his tax plan. I truly believe that many Democrats want to support our plan. And with enough encouragement from the American people, they will find the courage to do what is right for our great country. But the president also had this warning for Indiana Senator Joe Donnelly, a Democrat who traveled here with him on Air Force One. If Senator Donnelly doesn't uh, approve it, because, you know, he's on the other side, we will come here, we will campaign against him like you wouldn't believe. And tonight, the Washington number crunchers are starting to weigh in. The Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, a fiscally conservative group, is estimating that the Trump tax cuts would cost the federal government $2.2 trillion, that's trillion with a T, over a 10-year period. We're reporting live from Indianapolis, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Rob and Erica. Okay, Derek, thank you.